your tech support. And in this video, we're going to go through the SureForce bracket and actuator installation on a Kinsey 3000 push row unit. The goal for this video is to add some more visual aspects to the instructions that came with your SureForce kit. AgLater does not offer a method to support center pusher rows on the Kinsey 3660 with factory hex shaft systems. The drive chain runs directly where the SureForce actuator mounts. However, it is compatible when using the SureDrive system and all hex shafts and drive chains are removed. On older Kinsey 3500 and 3600 models, the chain drive connecting the polar hex shaft to the pusher hex shaft runs directly through the center of the polar row unit where the SureForce actuator mounts. Consult your Kinsey dealership to retrofit the planter to the new style chain drive with the additional crossover jack shaft to offset the chain outside both row units. Raise the planter enough that the row units are resting on lower stops. Remove existing downforce springs or airbags and all brackets related to downforce from each row unit, including airbag brackets. Remove existing upper parallel arms by unfastening the four hex bolts on each corner. Replace existing bushings if worn. New bushings are not provided. It is important to support the front of the row unit to prevent unintended motion during upper parallel arm removal. Reuse the existing hardware to loosely fit the provided upper parallel arms in place of the existing parallel arms. Tighten all fasteners that secure bracket. Position lower clevis bracket between lower parallel arms with up text facing up. Insert the two 3 quarter inch outside diameter bushings into the lower clevis bracket and loosely fasten the two half inch by two and a half inch bolts and nylock nuts. Line up the front and back upper clevis brackets and insert the top two half inch by one and a quarter inch bolts. Loosely clamp the face plate between the front upper clevis bracket and back upper clevis bracket using four half inch by one and a quarter inch bolts and four split lock washers. Temporarily fit actuator into the upper clevis bracket and lower clevis bracket to ensure that the two brackets are aligned. Once aligned, remove actuator and tighten fasteners to secure upper clevis bracket assembly to the face plate. The remaining steps can be mirrored for a left or right orientation. AgLater advises investigating the planter for any potential interferences and determining right or left orientation on a row-by-row -row basis. Potential conflicts include drive chains, vacuum and hydraulic hoses, electrical cables, and non-AgLater aftermarket parts. Loosely fasten the row valve block to the bracket using two 5 16 by 2 1⁄2 inch bolts and serrated flange nuts. Loosely fasten the bulkhead T bracket to the row valve bracket using 5 16 by 3 quarter inch carriage bolt and serrated flange nut. Tighten the 5 16 inch fasteners that secure the row valve block to the bracket and the 5 16 inch fastener securing the bulkhead T bracket to the row valve bracket. The bracket pictured in the install instructions may differ from included bracket. It is advised to connect and tighten the indicated hose before continuing since the fitting is in a less accessible spot once assembly is mounted. Align the bottom slot of the valve assembly with the holes in the upper bracket. Secure and tighten the two 5 16 by 1 inch bolts and serrated flange nuts. Connect and tighten row to row hoses to each end of the T fittings. Refer to parts list for hose length. Insert the long actuator pin through the upper bracket and actuator housing. Secure with cotter pin. Ensure that smaller fitting on the actuator is facing towards the toolbar as shown.
Rotate the seed depth adjustment handle 180 degrees to avoid interference with the upper parallel arms. It is important to note, if not done there is a risk of damage to load cells and inadvertent depth adjustments. We have now completed the SureForce row unit installation on a Kinsey 3000 push row unit. For the remaining steps, please refer to the frame fold installation instructions included in your kit.